Good morning, YouTube. Yeah, you joined me on a slightly chilly day in January. It's a bit cloudy out today, but I thought, you know what, I've just got the bobber back from having a service, so we'll try and get it out as much as we can. I think the plan today is we're going to go for a nice little ride out and then off down to Woburn. Go past Woburn Triumph, lovely little dealership there. Um, really nice, really helpful guys. What is this guy doing here? Um, pull down to Woburn Triumph, see if they're open, try and get a test ride on a speech of RR, maybe not today, I'll need to put one in. And then I'll pull over somewhere around Woburn Deer Park and give you a little overview of this bike, because this is quite a special motorcycle. Um, some of you may have heard of them, built by a company called Thornton 100 Motorcycles. You can see the logo there. So essentially owned and run by a guy called Jody Millhouse. Started off, uh, made a kind of like signature showpiece Ducati. Um, from there, got a bit of attention in the kind of custom bike scene. There's a whole, I won't go into the top of history, but there's a really good kind of documentary they've got on their YouTube channel, which I'll link to in the description, uh, which shows this kind of the rise of Thought 100. Um, but since then, they focus on Triumph. So this is a, originally was a Bonneville bomber. And the process of getting one from Jody is, you essentially go to them, say you're interested in a bike, you put a deposit down, which is the cost of a new uh, Bonneville bobber. They won't, they don't work on second-hand bikes, they'll need to be new, because it's just for them, which is understandable for them. It's it's a lot of hassle in terms of, if someone brings a bike in that's several years old, they don't know how well it's been maintained, they don't, they don't want to get blamed for any issues with the bike in the future. They also, like, if you've got any bolts that are kind of seized or rusted up, it's just, it's extra work for a custom bike builders, it's half of to budget for. So, new bikes only. Um, you can buy second-hand 400 ones, which they list on their studio page, but we'll talk about that later. Um, so yeah, for they do the whole, like pretty much the whole Triumph uh, range, but the main one that kind of brought their, their kind of claim to fame, and one that you see all over Instagram are these like selling bikes, is the Bobber, um, which come in, I believe, four packages. I'm sure someone will prove me wrong in the comments. Um, but yeah, package one is, essentially a normal Triumph bobber but with their kind of like custom bits on um, like the kind of central bevels, uh, foreign indicators, mirrors that you can see there, custom exhaust like I've got on mine, I've got a cross pipe on mine, um, nice seating, whatever paint you want but the same kind of, I wouldn't say narrow but like standard wheels that a Triumph bobber has which is not narrow by any means but compared to what this has, very narrow. Um, Package two is their signature wide wheel bobber, what this is. So if I stand up a bit, you're able to see massively wide front tyre, as well as rear tyre, which doesn't really mean. Um, and that, I've got passenger seat on mine, there's no other options. That's actually, I'll make a bit of progress here. Let's see what the mic sounds like. As I was saying, um, hopefully they might pick that up. The last mic I had on here just gave out as soon as the exhaust went off because, as I said, it's a custom exhaust and it's fairly loud. Um, but yeah, so level two to wide wheel bobber. I've gone for the passenger seat option, obviously the custom paint. Um, I've just had it in the service they put heated grips on, which is looks great. Um, apart from that, yeah, you've just got like a radiator gauge on the front, which you can't see. When I pull over, you see the rest of the options, and then. Level three, they can supercharge them. Uh, this is actually my first big bike uh, since passing my license here in the UK. Here we've got, rather than just having a certain age where you pass, you, you've got your CBT where you ride a 125 for a while. Then if you're, I think, I can't remember the ages, but like, between like 20, 21, you then have like an A2 license, which is slightly restricted. But then if you're over 25, like I was, you can do full direct access, so then you can ride whatever bike you want. Uh, what I've done and this was fortunately to be my first bike so I thought it might be a bit mental to go straight for a supercharged bobber so I've gone for the standard but I love it I think I've just done let's see if we flick through the info here what we are uh, yeah 4307 miles on this bike so far I mean up to Scotland up to Lucas and Edinburgh we all over the place and I absolutely love it all through the summer all through the winter it's just a great bike and I think it'd be really interesting to show you guys a bit more about it because you see them 
for sale and you see them like advertised on Instagram but you don't really see a lot of really ridden kind of in-depth reviews so I just want to give you a little information on what it's like to actually live with the bobber. First thing first is it's pretty loud. Um, not the most social thing for your neighbours in the morning but it, this is actually not the loudest exhaust option. I, and I think the guys at 100 will agree with me, I think it's the best exhaust note. Uh, because it's a cross pipe, you start the mixing together and make that nice, like, kind of verbal tone. Um, you've got, obviously, the Helix exhaust just come down the side and side pipes. They look really stunning. I think the noise from the cross pipe is the best one you can get. This, ridiculously, isn't the loudest one, so it still has cats in. So if you see just in this spot there, the cats are welded in. Um, so actually, they had one in stock when I went to spec mine out that had the cats out and Jesus Christ, that thing was loud. So I thought, this is enough, it's, it's ridiculous enough, it's loud enough, it doesn't need the cats taken out as well. Um, and it just sounds really good, for instance, like first gear into second, that overrun, and hear it popping and banging below you. And even more so in the slightly higher gears. I'm trying not to be an absolute yob going through this town. Um, but yeah, another great thing about the Triumphs, obviously they've got cruise control, so first time to activate it, second time, you've got to be in th at least third gear at over 30 miles an hour, cruise control comes on, and then that's it, just bobbing along. Um, but yeah, well, I'll make a bit of progress now, the next couple of bits of roads aren't very exciting, when I get through the towns on something a bit more interesting. I'll pick back up with you and we'll have a little look at the Triumph on a little bobber. Uh, welcome back. Just through some of the villages now. I thought I'd turn back on just so you can see these nicer roads. I, mean, I wouldn't like to go super twisty on the bobber because it will grind out quite quickly, but a nice road like this, 60 miles an hour, four gear, just very. Very fun. And yeah, I have found though, I don't know if it'd be different, obviously I've not returned a huge amount of time on a standard bobber, but I have found that this, I think you really want to be like second gear for roundabouts and tight, turn, tight corners. It's just, because any faster than that, and you're literally almost having to grind the pegs to get round at any kind of speed, like I've, when I pull over, I'll show you, but I've ground pretty much the side of the foot stand down on this one, and I've ground the foot peg down on the right, which I'll try and show you, and that's like, I'm I'm nothing special, I'm no incredible rider. It's just, I like to kind of, I'll lean it just so I can see where it can go, but the, yeah, the, the bike will grind down quite quickly, which is a bit of a shame, I suppose, but that's not really what the bother's for. It's about kind of like enjoying the countryside and running around, and these kind of sweeping roads it's perfect but much twistier than this like for instance this corner here it's pretty much uh, almost a uter like i would want to go around this let's see what's we able to go around i want to go around this much more than like 20 miles per hour like any more than that you're going to start to grind it whereas like my, my 125 going that at like over 30 almost 40. it's just it's a husk of on a smart pillar and you just lean it back a little bit more but roads like this this is quite nice and it's the bike is very capable and it, it's obviously it's got a decent amount of road presence with its big centre front light, day ring lights on there, big thick tyres, loud exhaust. It really does command like, quite a bit of respect on the road which is really nice for a bike. Right, time to now pod through a few more villages and I will join you again on the other side. Right, back again, that's most of the village is done now. And now there's a, what's it called this junction? There's a nice little stretch of road down to Woburn, which will fly along and take you past Triumph Woburn and into Deer Park, where I'll hop on the bike and show you a little bit more about some of its features, because it is a stunning bike. That ain't the the road. Actually, before we go, this is meant to be a lovely, lovely restaurant called the Paris House. Dying to go there. 
maybe one day. Anyway, sorry, back to it. going around in but we're having a nice day there's no need it's been coming up and I know it's 40 miles an hour here what I achieve but yeah this is the outskirts of Woburn this is all part of the deer park here pretty lovely area that you should I slow down a bit but to get a nice little view as we kind of come around here so yeah this is the that's the estate there it is just stunning and we'll ride through that in a bit and then yeah here you've then got Client Woburn, who I regularly come and annoy about bikes and they usually do meets and stuff on a Sunday. But yeah, lovely bunch. Great near the ship. I might swing back there after actually on my way back. And yeah, anyone who does live locally, if you I'm sure you probably know better than I do, but if you turn left up here, there's a beautiful wood down there, it's fantastic riding, but for now we're going to go right down here. This is the way in there, the barn restaurant. So I'm, actually I'm going to do it tonight with some friends, which will be lovely. I also need to one day to stop here. I saw something over there, they had like a Ferrari out front here, parked, stunning photo back one day and do that. But yeah, for now, this is the entrance to the deer park, which is over the cattle grid here. Yeah, so we'll potter along. Hopefully not hit a swan or any deer on the way. And yeah, once we get to like the main part of the park, I'll pull over and we can have a, have a chat about the bike. For now, just uh, Enjoy the ride. the bike it is stunning so yes any options you've got gold chain chain guard these XL rims on here as you can see how wide the wheel is I've gone for the Thorn 100 that's quite lettering on there passenger seat you see on the Instagram you see one of the guys in the back flip off there but yeah passenger seat's great literally a bit of effort on the sides you pull it back off it's just magnetised so I've also got a luggage rack that goes on there if you want to travel around rather than have a passenger seat and then watch your fingers yeah straight on I think what yeah custom paint on here so this matches my I've got an F1 edition Aston Martin I'm very fortunate um, and yes yeah, so it's the exact same paint match there and the stripe is kind of the same as the F1 livery you've got on the bike you've then got barring indicators mirrors Wavy disc brakes, radiator guard there at the front, cross pipe exhaust, like the kind of Thought 100 logos. I've gone for the titanium bolt kit on everywhere. That's Instagram, obviously. Drop a follow, Cincy Mug Guard, and you see there's the signature wide wheel. But yeah, it is, it's just a gorgeous bit of kit. 
I absolutely love this thing. But yeah, I've had no mission input here. Yeah, obviously, yeah, there's another option. License plate at the side, illuminated there. But yeah, it's just, it's honestly, it's lovely. Mrs. likes it enough. She sits on the back, been on quite a few trips. So, but yeah, it's just a, just a beautiful bit of kit, isn't it? Right, I'm sort of rambling on about my love for my own bike and go to the shops. Hope you've enjoyed.